Good morning, this is Keith All, and in today's video, we're going to learn how to create a pop shadow like you see here in Photoshop. So let's get started. We're going to create a new document. You could select any size that you want, any width, the resolution, and whatever color background you want. Click Create. Now, um, let's uh, just add some text to it. I already have my um, font, the size, and what you want to do is uh, come over here and select uh, smooth in this particular situation and just go ahead and type your text. And now I'm using uh, the control key and then click to drag this over here. I'm on a PC. Now I want to resize it, control T to transform it. And then I'm using shift, alt, and then clicking on this anchor point and dragging it. Press enter to accept it. And now let's create a stroke around the text layer. So we're going to double click this layer in the layers panel and select stroke. And it already came up with a stroke color. That's because this is uh, what I selected the last time that I created something. So I'm going to click OK. Now let's uh, create a new layer with just that style, meaning that I'm going to create a separate layer just with the style of whatever the stroke style was. So I'm going to um, make sure this layer, the text layer, is selected. And I'm going to go up to Layer, Layer Style, and then Create layer and watch what happens to the uh, layers panel as I do this so it created this new layer just with that style so I'm going to turn off the visibility of this text layer so you can see what happened so that's what what it did so I'm going to turn that visibility back on and now let's select this new layer that was created and turn off its visibility and now let's uh, use the control plus click on this layer thumbnail and what it does it um, uh, creates a selection around your text as you can see here so now with this still selected, let's select a solid color uh, for this fill. Uh, and what we do here is we come down to this uh, uh, icon selection and create a fill or an adjustment layer. So we're going to click on that, select solid color, and in this case, I'm just going to select uh, the black. You could select any color that you want. Click OK. Now let's uh, select the layer mask thumbnail on this new fill layer that was created. So we're going to select this layer mask thumbnail. And now let's go up to the menu and select Filter, then Blur, and then Motion Blur, and see what it does to your stroke. So just to give you an idea of what the, these adjustments will do, let's uh, use this uh, pinwheel and let's move it. 
and see what happens to that stroke. So let's just keep it at minus 45 degrees and let's change the pixels so you can see what's happening with the pixels. So let's keep it at 75. Now let's click OK. And now let's select, keep, keep in this layer uh, selected. Let's go up to the menu and select image. Then adjustments. Then levels. Now watch what happens when I move this toggle over. So that's what happens to the toggle. What we want to do is we want to select 8. And that's what that does. Clears up the blur. Let's click OK. Now our last step is going to select, you need to select this text layer right here. And then come over here and do a control and then click and then drag it to the position that you want. And that's how you create a pop shadow in Photoshop. Hopefully that you learned some new uh, techniques today and working with um, uh, the stroke and other adjustments that we worked with. Uh, stop by often and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification so you always get updated when I create a new video. And also like, share, and comment on this video because it helps out the community when we get engagement. Uh, other people will come here and they could learn new techniques and skill sets for their sh Photoshop editing skills. Again, thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.